Okay, so as most of you know, um, my main YouTube channel is called Gone Lucid, and uh, I actually came up with this name because it's, uh, or actually I started using this name as uh, a musical artist name or whatever, and uh, now I just kind of stuck with it, you know, and uh, because I like it and it does mean something to me. But, um, you know, uh, when I was younger, I is when, when I was probably about 18, 17, 18, maybe 19, is when I first started lucid dreaming. And um, it, it's definitely a really intense experience. But um, in my opinion, it's, it's a lot like a, a, a hallucinogen trip. It's uh, definitely... Um, Something you don't need to put a lot of weight into. Uh, but, you know, uh, you could possibly learn something from it in uh, good ways. And also definitely be tricked by Satan through your dreams. But uh, the only reason I bring this up is because I was looking up this uh, article. I was looking up Lucid uh, and I came across this article. And... Um, this 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 uh, quote right here is the first thing that caught my eye, which I think is it's uh, there's something wrong with it. it. Says my dreams leave impressions that are as strong or stronger than anything I experience when I'm awake. I I don't know. It just there's something wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it but that's the first thing that caught my eye. And you go down here and it talks about or it has questions. There we go. Uh, so this uh. This is about an expert, supposed expert lucid dreamer, which I think is kind of weird. That's like saying you're a professional, uh, a professional lucid dreamer. So um, the next thing I, that caught my eye was, so I take it you're not religious. And the answer was, I have no religious beliefs. The last time I saw a godlike figure in a dream, I told him to get out of my way. I told him, I'm not interested in you. You are no use to me. Go. Well... I, I kind of like the the fact that the person did did push that godlike figure away because it was probably Satan. I highly highly doubt it was God. Um, actually, I'm I know for a fact it wasn't God. Um, but the fact is, they say they're not religious. I have no religious beliefs, uh, so I'm not happy about that. I mean, you know, they're their own person, but something is strange about this. And then we get to the next question. It says, how many dreams do you usually have each night? And this, in my opinion, this seems a bit excessive. It seems like they're almost uh, spending most of their uh, free time or, or most of their... seems like they're spending a lot of time in their dreams. Why do you really need a dream five to six or up to 13 times in one night? That seems really excessive. If you're having uh, such uh, restful sleep, I mean, one dream means you're technically in the REM sleep. How many dreams? I don't know. It just seems like nonsense to me. Why Why is that happening? And the fact that, I mean, I'm not all big into numbers, but they do kind of catch my eye sometimes. And the fact that the most that this person has ever had in one night was 13 dreams. That's just, you know, number three on the list very strange um but yeah i mean uh, that's about as far as i went because that's not really far in the article and i already had multiple multiple things catch my eye oh that's interesting because they talk about lsd on here and and it's funny because uh it says that's not even a patch on what i'm doing it, it, that's silly because it's all in your mind no matter how you look at it no matter which way you get into it it's in your mind so when i saw a godlike figure i thought it was god and i was actually i had two experiences i went to the same place and it was a hallucination it was uh, uh i was on lsd the first time the second time i was on 2ci and this was when i was younger i don't do any of that kind of crap anymore but this was when i was younger and it's weird because it was at two different times. Like I had two different drugs. It was, it was like probably two, three weeks apart. And I went to the same place and I, and I had the same exact dream. And 
it was such a long and intense dream and I kept going through it and it was it was insane and it took me actually years to realize that 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 entity that person that I saw in there wasn't really God even though he was showing me bible scripture and and all and you know I had, I had to go through I had to like climb a mountain to get to him and it was it was really strange stuff but I realized that I was actually in hell and it took me about maybe f five, six years to realize that. It wasn't but a couple years ago that I realized that. And it's really crazy because um, you have to you have to actually challenge your beliefs because uh, even this person that, like like I said, um, at the top here says, my dreams ha leave impressions that are as strong or stronger than anything I experience when I'm awake. Now, it almost seems like this person is in a belief like like this is a belief system like this is their religion you know what i'm saying um so i don't know it's 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 really strange and i would hope this person actually uh has the you know the cojones to actually challenge uh his beliefs in this uh because he might find it to be uh wasteful in my opinion um i do dream I, I, I do like to lucid dream and uh, it, it, it's it's interesting to me, but it doesn't really mean all that much to me except that it's a dream, you know? I don't try to dig too much into them, you know? It just kind of is what it is, you know? It, it's it's kind of like a video game. I don't really care. It's just it is what it is, you know? Um, it, it doesn't bring me up and then bring me down and it doesn't fluctuate my emotions like that um it used to i used to get really excited like i'm working on something like i'm striving for something when in reality it's just it's just like a video game you're not doing anything you're kind of wasting your time and you think you're learning something well you you might realize everything you've been learning was a lie and i'm not saying it is um but that's a lot like my story and you know uh, I used to do hallucinogens and I and I uh, was big in the lucid dreaming and stuff and and I, and I dream quite a bit these days and and uh, every once in a while I, I lucid dream but it's just not really like when when I was younger like let, let's say if you want to learn how to lucid dream what what I would do is I would tell myself I, I would lay on my back and I would tell myself okay you're about to go into sleep and you're going to dream and you're going to know you're dreaming and you're going to control it in any way that you want. I think what's going on here, and, and this always worked for me, I just don't do it anymore because I don't really care. But what I think what's going on here is uh, people people need something in their life to cling on to, right? Like there's this, there's this need for belief when people don't have God in their life. There's, there's this, uh, this God hole or whatever that, uh, needs to be filled. Right. And, uh, you know, some people take on lucid dreaming as a spiritual tool and it kind of is, it can be, um, you know, but you have to challenge those things that you learned to be able to know, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's once you finally challenge everything you've learned is when you really learn, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's, it's very, uh, contradictory and that's the kind of a lot of how life is, is contradictory, you know? But, um, yeah, it, it, a lot of times it's like, it's just like video games. Um, they're trying to get something for nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, I would check out this article. It, it might be an interesting read, but uh, yeah, it's it's just it's just interesting and uh, uh, it's weird that all this stuff pointed out was like popped out to me. All these random things about religion and thirteen and yeah, I don't know. I I think um, I think this person has taken lucid dreaming and connected it to their own religion. Like this is their religion, and uh, and in reality, it's it's Satan. Satan is this person's religion. Um, 
Anyways, I just figured I'd share that with you. Peace out, guys.